If you've listened to this album and wondered, what did Keishan Alda find all these sounds? Today, we're going to break down the best three sounds from the album so you can use it in your music. First sound of this video is going to be really simple, and the last one is going to be advanced. Let's start with the chord sound on I. So. Now this saw has a lot of high frequencies, it's really harsh and this is going to get in the way of our vocals and our hi-hats and other instruments that are in that higher frequency range. So to create some more space in the mix, we're going to remove some highs. Then we're going to add some detune. For some sounds you can go really extreme, but for this sound I feel like they're using less voices. This is something that you're going to want to experiment with for your song. Remember the whole point of sound design isn't just copying other people's songs. The whole point of sound design is to design the right sounds that's going to work in your music. And for this song, every time there's a kick, the synth goes ooh, ooh, ooh. This is called sidechain compression. Most of you already know how to set this up. So the next sound that we're going to cover is going to be a bit more intermediate. And this is a lead sound that also works really well as a chord synth. Start with a saw. Then, like we did for the first sound, we're going to add a filter. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this source sound a bit more interesting by giving it a friend. So here's before, here's after. Often with sound design, to make something sound fuller, a lot more interesting, we double it. We often do this with vocals, guitars. But with simple sounds, we can do a similar thing by literally just duplicating it and detuning it so it's got a little friend. Then we're going to make the pitch slowly drift by dragging random one to tuning on the advanced page. Next, we're going to add some effects. Firstly, we're adding some EQ, just isolate the sound to where you need it to sit in the mix. This is going to create more space for the other elements in your track. And then, we're going to add a delay. Now, the thing that makes this sound special is that they've added automation. Sometimes you can hear the notes going wow, wow, wow. So to create this effect, copy these settings in the matrix page. When macro 1 is at the bottom, we have our normal lead sound, but when we increase it, the filter goes down and we create the wow, wow, wow effect. When you automate that, the listener on your songs will be like, whoa. And it's going to make your song sound a lot more interesting. And the crazy thing about this sound is you don't have to use it as a lead. It also works really well as a chord synth. And now we're going to create the most advanced sound of this video. This sound can be heard on Let's Talk About It, and it can also be heard on Forever. The first advanced sound we're creating today is the electric piano. Now most producers will just go through a plugin like Keyscape and load up a preset. However, the only way to get great sound design is to push your tools to the boundaries. So we're going to find a way to make this free synth sound like an electric piano. Start with a sine wave. Add a higher bell-like tone. And this higher tone is created by something called FM synthesis, which is frequency modulation. So basically making the pitch move so fast that it generates a higher frequency. To set this up, we're going to drag envelope 2 to the FM amount and the pitch of oscillator 2 is going to adjust our tone. You can also go to higher ones. Now, to make it sound more like an electric piano, we need to add another layer to fill in the lower mids of the sound. So for this, I'm using oscillator 3. Use envelope 3 to control its level and we're going to click on the oscillator section and this is going to be adjusting our tone of the sound. To enhance this even more, we're going to add some EQ. And now for the fun part of the video, the thing that makes these two songs different is how they use effects. So let's compare how Kei Shinoda uses effects on each sound. On Forever, I notice that the chords sound a bit wide, it's like a chorusy d tune type effect. So to create this, I'm using Sound Toys Microshift. If you don't have this plugin, try any other modulation plugin that you have and see what you like the best because it's not about copying these settings, it's about finding what's going to work in your music. Now, let's go over what Kei Shinada did on Let's Talk About It. And special shout out to Stefan for this request. Here's our electric piano preset. However, that sounds a bit harsh, so we're going to remove oscillator 3. And I've also increased the release so it fades out a bit. Next, we're going to add some effects, chorus, delay and reverb. This is going to make it sound a bit more dreamy. Next, let's cover the chord sound. For this, we're taking our electric piano from before, but to make it have a more mellow tone, make oscillator 1 and 2 the same pitch. Make the volume go... And for effects, there's a lot you can do, but I'm just going to add a flanger. 
Yo guys, when I was making this video, there was a bunch more sounds that I remade from the album, but it's gonna take too long to cover in this video. So if you haven't done it already, join our Patreon today.